This video will show how proper techniques and calibration of the MetaView. In order for the MetaView to work properly, the calibration is a very intricate part of its function. In order to calibrate the instrument, you'll use the software. The instrument itself will have an indicator light showing red, meaning it needs calibration. So to do that, we'll go into the Color Designer Plus software, and if you scroll down to the bottom left, you'll see a clipboard. It rises up, and we click on Calibrate Instrument. You'll notice that the software has cleaning instructions video. Also, it has videos on how to do proper techniques there. But today, what we want to do is walk through the simple and easy calibration. On the instrument, it has a slider rail down at the bottom. It also has a grasp that you can grab the instrument. Never use your finger to pull the calibration plaque forward. Always use the clasp in the front. You'll pull that forward. You'll notice then, as you pull that all the way forward, the measure button on the software will illuminate. If it does not illuminate, then the calibration plaque is not in the right position. So what we'll do is make sure that that locks into position. We'll then click on the measure button, and the calibration will begin. Once the calibration is complete for the calibration plaque, we'll then calibrate the target square. Same procedure, you'll clasp on and then push the calibration plaque backwards to get into the target square. The target square has the same function. If it is not in the proper position, the measure button will not appear. In order to make sure, place it into the proper position, it locks in and the measure button appears. We simply click on measure. Once complete, you'll be able to hit the close and then begin with your color measurement. What I want to walk through is a couple examples of what can happen during calibration that can throw the instrument off or not allow you to calibrate properly. And here I have the rail that uh, I, I detached from it, and I want to indicate a couple things that are important. The calibration plaque has a hole in there for the camera to make sure that you're in position for color measurement. If that hole gets covered up or fills up with dust or anything like that, the target or measure illumination will not, measure button will not illuminate, thus not allowing you to measure. So if I slide this forward, it's locked into position, and I take this pen and just place it over the hole, you'll notice that the measure button goes away. So we need to make sure that the calibration plaque, that that hole is visible and cleaned. Once it's visible, the camera sees it and we're able to calibrate. I'll simply show how that calibration works again. Again, in the same technique, when we go to do the calibration square or target square, the same thing is important there. You'll notice now my square here, what we have are two tabs, the, what I call the left and right. Those tabs are indicators for the camera to find that the target square is in place. So if I were calibrating and I happen to have a uh, paint splash or something on one, either one or both of these tabs, the illumination for the calibration of the target square will not work. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put a dot from the Sharpie on the rail. And what I'll do is I'll slide that back into position for calibration, and you'll notice that the measure button does not illuminate. And again, you may be able to feel it and say, oh, no, it's locked in, because there is a feeling of locked in. And so what we can see is a visual. By looking in there, we can see that there's paint on that rail. So what I simply do is take out one of our cleaning cloths that are sent with the instrument, and these are nothing more than alcohol wipes if you ran out. And what we want to do is make sure that that's clean. So we can pull that forward. We clean each side of those target squares, that left and right tabs. Make sure those are clean. And we place that back into the position. And we'll notice that the measure button appears. Once that's complete and we have the measure button, we're now able to click on measure and complete the process. So it's very important that both these steps, the calibration plaque, that that hole is visible to the camera, and also that your 
tabs on your, mar on your target square are completely clean. And thank you for your time. Keep the instrument clean. And if you have any questions, call our Match Right customer service line. Thank you.